will be Wales then, Dan Edwards, who will start this match then for the men in red. Immediately up for it there was uh, Will Stoddart. That fly half, he's got Harry Godfrey alongside him, the fullback comes into the mix they found him to up wide they go he has a real chance they've got it the first try to new zealand belongs to tangy tar the new zealand sevens player that's been a tough time for the welsh rugby it's time for the dragons to show fire well they started off pretty well there's enough fire in that tank and then they keep going for the line there they go that's the try you spoke about bravery, Kobani, and no question about it. They showed the bravery in decision making and enough bravery on field, too. All about defense for New Zealand right now. All the big boys, yes, Morse. He, he'll want to have a go at the try line. And there's another penalty advantage. Can they side their way through somewhere here? Is there an opportunity? There it comes. Yeah, it goes. That's the try, Dan Edwards. Wow. Superb play that from Wales. Now Archie Hughes waits. And gets. Once again, the little run around, the long pass out there. He has a real chance again for the Welsh. And through they go, but they just held up short. And there's the try. It comes in the form of Morgan Morse, who's had a couple of charges at the line without any real success, but he's shown his ability when he's close in. And another one of the lock forwards coming in to play will start out in Taylor Cahill. Once New Zealand get good rhythm, and that they've got at the moment too, there's always an opportunity for them. There's the long pass. That'll be a try. <laughs> Marcus Springer is the man who gets in, slides into the mud in the far corner. Ah, oh, Maka, he gets in. Gets a bit off a mud shower form. Prize number one, get the line out set, and they've done that. Yeah, comes the drive. This is brilliant play from New Zealand. The try has already been scored. And they got that absolutely spot on backing themselves with a set piece in the game, which hasn't always been that great. They got the line out right. First kick for Harry Godfrey. Taken over from Kimara. And he makes sure of that penalty. So right now, as things stand. Wales have not scored a single point okay. in the second Sorry, half, and it's been all New Zealand. Support coming there from Peter Lucky. Now, the cross kick. Which way does this go? Who's the jumper? Who can do the trick? Well, it's New Zealand who've done the trick. Brilliant play, that. The right thing to do, not to try and catch it when you're close to the try line, but if there's close in support, which there was, Perfect execution, great cross kick, the tap back, and Jay Clark's got another try. So the same culprit, yeah, Sam Scarf, with the throw in. Can they do it again? Can Scarf this time hold on to it when they get over the line? He's at the back of that ball. They've got a whole pile of players in there, the Welsh. They fly for the line, and they do get the try. And who would it be? The same Sam Scarf. Dan Edwards has another opportunity of a kick at goal. Could he get it over this time? He's got to take that kick very quickly so he can get back to the halfway line. What a game this has been. Oh, this time he's got it absolutely dead eye deck. It's a one-point game. The Welsh victory would depend on how well they carry the ball if they manage to secure it. Backwards. Which they haven't done. New Zealand, back it comes to them, and Jordi Fulhoun sticks it into touch. 
and New Zealand have won this game and what a game it's been completely out of it at 19 points to five at half time they showed all the skill and the strength of New Zealand rugby in the second half by scoring three tries two of them converted plus a penalty before the Welsh right at the death managed to get a try and conversion the try by Sam Scott the conversion from Dan Edwards